Your Fox Carolina first alert weather. Well, we are looking at showers and some heavy snow moving up into the northeast, all from that system that brought us that persistent rain through the day yesterday. We are all clear, though. We still have the clouds lingering, but those clouds will be breaking up as we head into tonight so that we'll get sunshine by tomorrow. We got some big rain totals. We talked about how we could see three plus inches of rain in some spots and around the Brevard area. Conesty Falls and Brevard seeing over three inches there. Sapphire 3.3 easily. You got nearly three and a quarter inches of rain over two inches around Greenville. In fact, very close to three, uh, two and about three quarters in Inman over two and a half at GSP Airport. So this is a big soaking for our area. And look at this Spartanburg over two inches, even getting a, over an inch and a half around Asheville. Sapphire Fountain Inn over two inches. Now heading out this evening, don't have to worry about much rain, but there'll be some clouds and then we'll slowly clear out temperatures dropping into the mid 40s. If you're checking out the lights tonight, 34 degrees for you in the upstate as the temperatures fall fast. The, the clouds will be clearing out and in the mountains a few clouds but should start to clear out completely by daybreak. So that'll set the stage for sunny weather on Friday. Won't that be nice? Highs in the low 50s for you in the upstate and 40s in western North Carolina. Uh, your next big thing, well, it's the fact that it's going to be so cold over the next few days. Uh, we're going to see temperatures drop. We've been in the mid 50s today in many spots, low 50s Friday, and then 40s this weekend, and we're just not going to be able to warm up a whole lot even going into next week. Uh, so that's going to be a big story. Another big story. I wanted to give you a preview of what some of the models are doing for Christmas Eve. Look at these temperatures. This is the night of this wouldn't be the night Santa comes. It would be the night before, so it would be toward Christmas Eve morning. We're looking at teens and even possibly single digits. Models have been pretty consistent on this too and we'll let you know how all this evolves but could be looking at a serious chill and still no indications on whether we get any precipitation with that anything of that nature. I know many of you are dreaming of a white Christmas and we'll let you know if the models come together on anything. Right now though the they're just coming together on a big chill uh, at this point coming into Christmas weekend but leading up to it it's going to be plenty chilly as well. Highs in the 40s this weekend, some low 50s next week week and lows at freezing or below most nights over the next seven in the mountains looking at 20s for the next several nights at, at night. And one reason that uh, they that code purple in Buncombe County and then looking ahead to next week highs in the 40s, but then gets even colder as we approach Christmas. Of course, you can head to FoxCarolina.com for your first alert weather forecast anytime as well as interactive radar. It's a great resource to check out now. It's